today we're going to be playing with a new legendary card before everyone else. Let's immediately dive in. Truthfully, I am a little impatient and I couldn't wait for the new set to launch before I got my hands on those new legendaries. So I made a little magic happen and I came up with this crazy deck idea. Even though the set is still not officially launched, the game files have been updated. So the game recognizes all those new cards. And well, I built a deck around Pandora, but we're going to be making her the chosen one. It's crazy, it's going to take a lot of luck to pull off, and today not only am I going to show you some of those new amazing legendary cards, I am actually going to try this deck out in Mythic. This is not going to go well. Let's immediately go. The idea behind the deck is to try to get Pandora in our hand as soon as possible, and here we get very lucky. How Pandora works is that she is going to put a box into our deck. The box is a one mana spell that changes all of my deck and all of my hand into random legendaries. And because those random legendaries are recognized by the game, we can get we can get those new legendaries. I am immediately going to play Pandora now. Guys, it's starting to happen. And then even though the box is randomly placed into my deck, I have a couple of cards that can help us draw it much faster. And also, if Pandora goes down, I have Born again to pull her back into my hand and play her again to, to increase our chances of actually getting the box. Obviously, I have also filled my deck with a lot of cards to help us survive the early game because I told you, we are going to be trying this out in Mythic. So let's see how this one is going to go. Guys, we are actually going to pull this off right now because I have Enlightenment, another card that's going to help us facilitate the combo. First, we're going to get rid of a couple of cards that we don't need. And as soon as I do that, I am going to be able to choose the box from my deck. How cool is that? Let me also get another card. It doesn't really matter which one we get here because we're actually going to replace everything now. Let's see if we're going to get lucky here and find those new legendaries. Oh, hey, hey, we got Signy. Hey, that's a legendary card. That's actually an amazing legendary card. Hey, and we have the Dread Touch mechanic. I'll show you guys how this works in a little bit. Let's get rid of that for now. Wow, how cool is that? Also, Signy has an amazing ability. This card is going to be awesome in rank and in skill, but that's a topic for another video. Uh, basically, I just want to get to 7 mana now to play Signy. We also have Dimitrios in my hand, which is really, really cool. Oh, wait! My opponent just stole the box! My opponent just stole the box from me! It's going to be a crazy game! Wow, I don't believe it. Uh, let me just play Dimitrios down on the board. Then let me throw Commander Pyros down as well. This is so, so crazy. Wow, this game is going to be so insane, guys. I'm so happy that you're getting to, to see this. Okay, is my opponent going to play the box now? I mean, you have to. Don't be weird. Just play the box. Let's turn this into a crazy game. It's not going to happen yet. Basically, I just want to play Dimitrios again. And then I'm going to get rid of that creature because I really want my creatures to survive on the next turn. So I can play Signy, guys, basically. That's the plan. A toast to peace. No, my plan is ruined. Oh, the, my opponent just played the box. My opponent just played the box. Okay, this is a crazy game now. This is absolutely... This is out of the box. There goes my Asterius, but we don't really mind. Okay, now, do I just play Signy without Dread touching her? Or do I just play another Commander Pyros and Vor... Yep, yeah, guys, I'm going to do it. I really want to Dread touch Signy. I want to show you guys the full thing. So I'm going to be a little patient for one more turn. And then, if... Those two creatures survive, we actually play Signy. Also, we might actually get to see even more legendary cards from the new set because my opponent also played the box. I just realized that. Guys, it is going, it is going to happen now. I am going to play Signy to immediately destroy this creature. This is how the Dread Touch mechanic works, by the way. It works like Empower. It works like Empower. You activate it like this. And then you target the creature that you want to go down. Let me attack first with it. Let's play it. Wow, what a cool sound effect. And we are getting rid of my opponent's 9 mana Dionysius. Yes! What the heck, how cool is that? Uh, let me attack my opponent directly. And that was actually insane. Insane, insane. What is that? Avatar of life? We don't mind that at all. We have Orfeo. What can we do now? Basically, I really want to see if we have any more legendaries from the new set. I mean, I can play the final draft to get rid of that very, very easily. The Harvester is a Genesis legendary. We don't care about you. I mean, I can just summon Hortuk here. Yeah, let me do that, actually. We got a little lucky. Uh, let's gain Ble let's gain Frontline and Leech to make sure that we get rid of those two. And then, do I just, do I just attack my opponent with Signy? Yeah, I think I will. Boom, for 9 damage. Wow, that is a lot of damage. A recovering sigil for my opponent to draw another card. I actually don't want to win this game yet. 
Oh, what is that? You know what? I'm not going to win the game yet, guys. I really want to see what my opponent has available. So let me just... What are even the, all those legendary cards? I have no idea. Yeah, let's, let me just use my get power and end my turn, I guess. Our goal here is to find the new legendary cards, not to win the game, okay? We have a Merry Cadmos, and I am still not going to end the game, but let me deal 9 damage to my opponent now. Signy is probably going to be one of my favorite cards, I'm not even kidding. Oh, Duck! Duck Paddlestone! What? My opponent just obliterated all of their legendary cards, what are you doing? Oh, hey! That's another new legendary, wow! That's Sahir! Hey, hey, hey! Uh, basically, we can win the game. Check this out. We can win the game by destroying Duck now with Sahir. As soon as this creature comes back, my opponent is going to take 3 damage. But we have another crazy interaction in this game. I don't honestly believe it. Uh, we have Azaya, somehow. And this guy says if your deck contains only legendary cards, we are going to reduce the cost of our cards. Right? Yep. Check this. What? What are we. What is going on in this game? Yeah, I think that's it. Let me just end my turn again. So, in the first game of this video, we have already seen two of the new legendaries. I am more than happy with that. Oh no, there goes my Signy. What can we do now? I really want to draw another card, basically. But guys, you know what? I think it's time to end this game and try this out again in another one. Let me win in a very funny manner. Let me get rid of Zahir first. Then I am going to deal 3 damage to my opponent. And then, as soon as I destroy this creature, Zahir is going to come back and deal 3 damage to my opponent, and the game is ours! What a game we just played! I absolutely love this! Even if this is a meme deck, I still want to try it out in Mythic, so let's meet it till I dive in another game. Obviously, we're playing a very meme deck, so I don't expect us to win the game, but if we at least manage to pull this off, uh, it's going to be absolutely crazy. Oh no, our starting hand is terrible, guys! Okay, actually it's not that bad, because I can play Fated Arrival on the next turn. Oh no, it's an aggro deck! No, my goodness gracious, guys, we're going to suffer now a little bit. Do I just start with Censure, or no? Actually, let me just play this, and I can play Fated Arrival on the next turn, to draw Pandora. Please let me pull this off. Now we're going to draw Pandora, because we have no other creature on the deck, basically. And I can play Pandora on the next turn, with Frontline, so she's going to save us a bit of damage as well. Okay, it's a 4 mana creature now for my opponent, probably. Don't be weird. Don't play something huge. Oh no! Ew, that's so much damage. Ouch. What is this guy doing? That's very, very aggressive. I'm still going to play Pandora. And now basically we just want to stall out the game as much as we can. To find the box somehow. Okay, my opponent is now thinking, what is that that I am playing against? Okay, that is a lot of creatures. Oh, Yukos in Eclipse is actually really cool here. And do I just play 40 days in this situation? I mean, I could, right? Yeah, let me just do that. Oh, Tidal Prayer! Do I do that now? Or is that too risky? Hey, you know what? I'm going to do it now, guys. Can we find the box now? Please, 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 please. No, that's unlucky. So let me get Pacifism instead. Let me play Pacifism here. Then let me attack this. Basically, we had a good chance now to find the box, but that didn't happen. Ooh, what the heck? What is my opponent playing? That's so, so aggressive. Ouch, that hurts. My dear Pandora. Just went to the shadow to the shadow realm. And a gleam weaver as well, but we don't really mind that. Guys, I think we're not going to pull the combo off now. But don't you worry, this is an aggro deck, and after this expansion hits, we're going to be taking a lot of revenge on those aggro decks. Oh, enlightenment! Okay, at least I'm going to play the box. Let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you as well. Let's find the box immediately. Ah, uh, where is it? Hello, the box is here, and then I can play... Do I get Sensor as well? But that is still not going to be enough for us to win, so let me play the box. And maybe at least in the three cards that I have in my hand, we get to see a really cool legendary. No, that's not a new legendary card. What? What? No. We don't... We already know all about these cards. Get me out of this game. Get me out of here. Let's give a thumbs up to my opponent. They played an aggro deck against our meme deck and we are losing the game. I mean, we knew that this deck wasn't really viable, right? We knew that. But we still had to try it out for the memes, for the fun. So drop a like immediately. Don't worry about my rank, guys. We have been through wars in this channel. We have tried worse meme decks in the mythic rank. And we are still there. We are still hanging in. This time we're playing against the Magic Domain. 
which gives me a little bit more hope. Oh, we have Tidal Prayer already in my hand, but we really need to find Pandora, so that we get the box first in our deck. Oh no, it's an Atlantean deck, man, come on with the aggro decks. Yeah, not much for us to do here. Let me play Forty Drace to draw a card, basically. Fated Arrival is huge, okay, 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 okay. Fated Arrival is actually huge. Yep, there goes the Atlantean spam. Trust me when I say that with a new expansion, we're going to be seeing a lot less aggro decks. Because there are a lot more cards now that punish this kind of deck. So as planned, let me just play the Fate the Rival to draw Pandora and then, you know what guys, I'm even going to give order to those two creatures to make sure that my opponent can't attack me on the next turn. Oh, guess what? Another Atlantean. How cool. Uh, let me immediately play Pandora. If my opponent has Francesca in their hand and they win the game on this turn, I am going to be so salty, I'm not even kidding. I called it! I'm a magician, wait, the Doctor Strange effect. Am I a magician or what? Okay. Uh, but I'm going to deal with that, in all honesty. I don't even care about Project Rise because I have cooler stuff to play. Let me play Reformation. Let me start by playing the Tidal Prayer, actually. The box is in my hand. The box is in my hand. But first, guys, I'm going to play Reformation on this. And then I am going to play the box to actually get those new legendaries in. Can we get them now? No, that's not what I want. No, these are all old stuff. And what do we do in this situation? Nothing, I guess. Let me just give minus one strength to this. How do we get out of this? Why do you have to have Francesca so early on? There is a project rise. There is your win condition. Where are the new legendaries? Pandora, you open the box. Check this out. I mean, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. No, that's not what we want. Okay, let me just play this to establish my dominance. Let me attack here, reduce the strength of this creature and let's give a thumbs up. Because my opponent wouldn't let me have fun. But guys, somehow we still pulled this off and we survived for a turn, I mean, against Project Rise. So, it is what it is. I hope you really enjoyed the first game because the other two were meme games. Before we go, let me remind you that you can join my Discord server by following the link in the description of this video. We have weekly giveaways and especially since we have a new set launching pretty pretty soon, we are going to be doing a ton of giveaways and I mean it. I'm going to be announcing everything very very soon guys. So stay tuned, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I am uploading Gadget Chain content daily and we have a lot of new content coming with a new set. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, I really hope you enjoyed seeing the new cards in action and I'll see you all tomorrow with a brand new video. Enjoy guys!